Hi everyone, welcome to D Dawn Kitchen. Guess what, beautiful people? D Dawn is in the kitchen again to do what? Yes, you are so correct. It's a candy man yum, the candy man yum, yes, a candy man yum. Yes, I will be making candy yum in the oven. Hopefully you enjoy it. But before I begin, if you are new here, hi, welcome. Please be sure to subscribe. Leave a comment, share the video, and hit that notification bell. So when D Don is doing the video, you will be the very first one to know. And to all my supporter, YouTuber, follower, subscriber, a very, very, very big warm welcome to you all. Big up, big up, big up. I truly appreciate you. I truly appreciate your support. So let's get started. One cup dark sugar, half cup white sugar two teaspoon cinnamon powder one teaspoon allspice two teaspoon vanilla four sweet potato or they call it yam quarter teaspoon of ginger powder I like my little ginger powder and a little almond like one teaspoon of almond but this is optional you don't have to use it it's optional guys let me tell you something if you're using the allspice you don't need nutmeg but if in case you don't have the allspice and you have nutmeg go ahead and use a nutmeg this is a nutmeg and the maize and the maize is even good to use in this candy that I'm gonna make the candy yam you can grate the maize or you can just put take the maize off and just put it in it and this is the outer case of the nutmeg so if you go to the store you can look for nutmeg and this is it when it's out the case so this is how it looking and then you would grate it and you'd use like half a teaspoon of the nutmeg so if you're using the nutmeg don't use the allspice because this allspice already have all of this in it so the first thing we want to do is to peel our yam and I will be showing you how to peel the yam probably this is about probably four pounds of yam or sweet potato we we'll begin right at the point right there at the top. Ensure your knife is sharp. I don't want to use any peeler to peel my sweet potato. I'm accustomed to using the knife. If you have a peeler, go ahead. Use whatsoever you're comfortable with to peel a sweet potato, guys. And you don't want to peel too deep in it. Now that you finish peel the yam, you're going to place them in some water. And you'll be rinsing them. This is cold water. You want to wash your yam properly. Yeah. And now you will be cutting on the yam. You just need like one inch stick. Ensure that the knife is sharp or else the yam will break up. You just want to push the knife like that. All the way down. 
that's how you want to be cutting your yam so you want to make sure all your yam have cut on equal size so that way they will take the same amount of time to cook in a skillet we place in the butter this is like four ounces of butter to that i'm adding one cup of sugar you want to have the stove on very low heat mix out all that sugar ensure no lump is in it and i had the half cup of white sugar remember turn the fire very low and you want all this sugar to melt out in the butter now i'm gonna add ginger powder in i love my candy yam with a little ginger powder in it bring out the flavor you're gonna add your cinnamon powder you're gonna add your allspice Add my almond. Remember, one teaspoon. You're gonna pour in the vanilla. Look at our candy sauce, guys. All that sugar melt up in the butter, and we just want it to come to. Boil. When it begins to boil, you turn the fire off. So now, as you can see, it's boiling. I'm gonna turn the fire off. You need your baking tin or your casserole dish, whatever you need to put the candy in the oven. going to pack the candy yam in. Beautiful people, you're watching this video today and you haven't yet subscribed. What are you waiting for? Please be sure to subscribe, like and share the video. Share the video with your friend, friend of a friend, 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 friend. And hit that notification bell. So when D Don is doing a video, you will be the first one to know. Now you're gonna pour it over on the yam. So beautiful people, why buying a tin of candy yam when you can make your own? Make your own. You don't have to be buying candy yam anymore. Look at the color. Mm, 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 mm. Ensure every one of the candy yam is coated in the candy syrup. I'm gonna leave back a little of this juice. So look at this, guys! How oh, beautiful it looking! It looking like something can eat already. And you're gonna preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And this candy I'm gonna take approximately one hour to bake. You're gonna wrap up with foil paper.
see it properly for it file paper. I'm gonna put a mixer out on that. in one hour time guys a candy arm goes in the oven okay guys I can hear the oven is going off the oven is calling be done so it's time to remove but before I even remove it let me just test it right here to see if it finish Our candy yam is ready, so let me just remove it from the heat. And the candy yam, oh, the candy man song. Wow, our big candy yam is now ready, guys. I'm telling you, do not go and buy candy yam, just make your own. And look at all the juices, man. So look at these beautiful people, look at our candy yam, so delicious guys, so don't buy candy yam, don't waste your money, just make your own, it's so easy and simple, you follow d done recipe and style you can't go wrong and this is some of our candy syrup that remember i didn't pour everything out one time you just put in that caramel on top and the yam is so soft wow look how beautiful this looking guys give it a try our candy yam so i thank you beautiful people I thank you so much for watching D Dan Kitchen. I thank you. Please take care of yourself and above all, please take care of each other. And let me show you how soft it is looking. How soft it is. Look at this guys. Our candy yam. Look at it.